My name is Malcolm Grant and I'm 23. Uh, so I'm born and raised in Windsor, Ontario. I've done a bit of traveling through student exchanges and just personal traveling, but pretty much all Windsor. So I was born in a house that was not Christian, not very faith forward. Uh, so I grew up as an atheist. I was struggling a lot with mental health, uh, drug addiction, and just different things in my life. And I started looking for like a deeper answer of something else to fill the void. It started with a lot of philosophy, different religions, and nothing quite felt right until I started reading the Bible. So I started coming to church and I heard right away about the Alpha program. I decided to sign up because, well, my grandma kept encouraging me and I thought it would be a good place to get some questions answered. I think what stood out about Jesus in particular is everything else I could see holes. Something in the faith, something in the book, something in the history uh, didn't feel right, didn't sit right, didn't historically match up, um, but something about the Bible story, the Jesus story, and the Holy Spirit moving in your life when you actually turn in that direction. I knew in my heart right away that Jesus was the right path. So the reason I decided to get baptized is it felt like the next step. Where I was reading in my Bible at the time, it was talking about water baptisms and baptism of the Spirit, just moving forward in your faith. And it just so happened pretty much a week or two after I started coming to Parkwood, they were advertising their next New Life Sunday. I remember vividly Pastor Danny preaching on Exodus, and it was the one on Moses climbing the mountain, and he would talk to God and come down, and his face was shining so bright that he had to hide it from everyone. And my grandma kind of whispers over to me and says, when are you, when are you gonna show your face? When are you gonna reveal this to other people? So I got baptized on October 31st of last year, 2021. And honestly, I was really nervous about stepping on stage in front of, you know, 1,500 people. Pastor Danny's super nice when he'd he go in the tub, he was complimenting me on my beard and we chit-chatted for a little bit. And you get out and there's a roaring thunder of applause and I was expecting a huge move of the Holy Spirit. I was expecting my life to completely change. But what I did get was a symbol, uh, an outward representation of my faith. And so that people knew, you know, I was serious about what I was doing. I was committed to the church life and that I was taking a step in the right direction. It's important to see it as a milestone. It's a huge leap of faith and you're putting yourself forward in the church. And the best way forward is to get plugged in. Uh, so I finished up my Alpha program and a couple months later I was sitting on the other side of the table teaching and leading a group and eventually our table turned into a life group. I know I see people all the time that I can see in my shoes a couple years ago and I just want to help in every way that I can. One of my favorite Bible verses that stuck out to me early on my faith journey was 2 Timothy 2, 11 through 13. The reason this one stuck out to me is for a long time I did deny God. I didn't know at the time, but now I know that throughout it all, he was faithful to me, even though I wasn't to him. So all the hardship I went through, he was there for me, just waiting for me to come to him. So I would just encourage anyone who is enduring hardship, who is taking the leap of faith on this journey to Step out of the boat, go forward and take the next step. My name is Malcolm Grant and this is my story.